Well, it was week two in the college football season, but it was more like week one for the Marshall Thundering Herd, as they basically had an extra week of training camp this year. So it was finally time for them to find a different jersey color to knock around. And they did just that against Morgan State today. Well, the long wait was finally over for them to get back to work. And in the first quarter, the herd was already scoring in bunches as Chase Litton finds newcomer Michael Clark from 21 yards out here. That's Clark's first collegiate touchdown, and it's 7-0 herd. Now from their own 42, Litton gets it to Ryan Juracek over the middle. He turns on the Jets and is off to the races. And he's charging hard right at our photographer, Dalton Hammonds there. Gets the unexpected chest bump, and the herd now up 14-0. Then Litton again goes back to Clark in the air. 35 yards out, his second touchdown of the game. And Marshall kept spreading the field as this time Deontay McManus dominates the DB to hold that one in. Now 28-0. It's not all about the hurt offense though as Corey Neely drills the receiver there, knocks the ball free and gets it right to Roger Davis as he gets behind his stampede of blockers. He turns on the afterburners, takes it all the way 95 yards to the promised land. Marshall up big, 35-0. Already 42-0 before the half as Chase Litton tosses one more touchdown to Emmanuel Bird for good measure. Marshall led 49-0 at the half, and the fans go home happy as they easily take this one, 62-0. Hurts start the season with a huge win behind 530 yards of total offense and six touchdown passes from their QB, who, safe to say, he was pretty fired up about the team's overall performance. You know, we're excited to go. We're anxious to play football. I mean, we talked about it today. We had the longest camp in, in, in football history. I mean, that, that thing felt like a month. But, um, but, you know, we had a lot of reps. We got a, a lot of great reps and had a lot of talent out there. And, um, you know, we came out tonight excited and ready to go. If we can keep getting the production out of those outside receivers that we got today, and, and then, of course, Box and the inside guys with, with Bird and uh, Yurchek both made some plays. So it's good to see that. And uh, Chase, just the first half was pretty clean and uh, kind of picked up uh, where he left off. Well, WVU fans might have thought today would have been a cakewalk at home against Youngstown State. Dana Holgerson, he warned his Mountaineers not to take the Penguins lightly, despite them playing in the lower FCS division. And we've seen plenty of those teams, though, give the big boys quite the scare in the past. Definitely a hot one in Morgantown as temps hit the mid-90s at kickoff. And that heat had WVU a little slow out of the gate on offense till Skylar Howard sends a little air mail to Karan White, 53 yards down the sideline, gives them an early 7-0 lead. Penguins end up tying it at 7 and still on the attack as they catch the Mountaineers blitzing the house. Frees up Alvin Bailey to shake the defender there. He takes it 74 yards to the house. Home crowd stunned here as it's 14-7 Penguins. WVU responds quickly as Howard drops a beautiful dime over the top to Shelton Gibson. 54-yard touchdown, all knotted up at 14. Then the Mountaineers bust this one wide open after halftime by scoring 17 unanswered points. Skylar Howard throws one up for Dekeel Shorts in the end zone. He holds it in from 11 yards out. It's now 24-14 WVU, late third quarter. As Howard once again airs it out. Shelton Gibson for another score, this time 57 yards, his second touchdown of the game. Howard finishes the day with five touchdown passes and 624 total yards of offense. Mountaineers move to 2-0 with the 38-21 win. We confirmed a couple of things. We challenged, uh, especially the guys up front. <clears throat> we knew what they were doing. Uh, I thought the play calls were good. And and uh, we just went out there and executed better in the third quarter. You really got to, uh, you know, establish everything. You know, we, we got to stop on D uh, to come out and, you know, hit him with that big shot. It's, you know, really, uh, it's really important coming out of the halftime like that because we were all frustrated. And Tulsa visiting the shoe to take on the fourth-ranked Buckeyes. And the defense was out early for OSU as Tulsa's pass here tipped and picked by Marshawn Lattimore. That sets up an early field goal. Then Tulsa's Dane Evans again, intercepted by Ohio State's Malik Hooker, finishes this one off with a nice 26-yard score. Buckeyes up 13-3. Actually, it looks like the Hurricane made the trip with Tulsa as Storms forced a short delay in Columbus, but that didn't stop the Buckeyes as the defense. Another pick six. Lattimore with this second interception of the day puts Ohio State up 20-3, and they were in cruise control the rest of the way as they roll the Golden Hurricane 48-3 at home, and Urban Matt Meyer had to be pretty happy with those results and the 2-0 start to the season.
to sit in a locker room for an hour and a half. That's a good sign of some maturity. I, mean, I saw maturity in the locker room. I saw some disappointment with the way we played offensively in the first half. But good teams pick up each other, and I thought the two pick sixes, obviously, you know, we got a pretty good secondary. And the Gainesville, Florida now, where the Kentucky Wildcats, they just can't buy a win lately, having lost 29 straight to the Gators. And that doesn't help right there. Del Rio finds Brandon Powell in the end zone, puts Florida up 24 to nothing, and make that 30 straight losses against the Gators for UK as they get chomped at the swamp. Wildcats now 0-2 to start the season. And after their heartbreaking triple OT loss at home last week, Bobcats got themselves in another track meet at Kansas. Pappy White takes the reverse here and speeds into the end zone for the score. And quarterback Greg Windham, he went to work as well. Already has a 25-0 lead. And he's going to take this one himself to the house. Windham had a nice day on the ground, 146 yards rushing on just 16 carries. Jayhawks would fight back a bit. But Ohio hangs on for the 37-21 win for their first win of the season. Nevertheless, against a Big 12 opponent, so pretty good stuff from them. And finally, a little local action here as the Yellow Jackets of West Virginia State, also on the board for their first win of the season. They take down Urbana 37-24, but not before a four-hour weather delay, similar to the storms that they saw over in Columbus up there in Ohio. State now 1-1 one one on the season, also Moorhead State. At least it was a better result than last week's 80-7 to blowout loss to James Madison, but they still fall 17-13 to the VMI Cadets. The Eagles now 0-2 to start the year. That's a look at sports. We'll be right back after this.